Hey everyone, if you are a beginner in Android Studio and your run button is disabled, then you just go for the file menu and just click on the file menu and click sync with your project with the Gradle files. Actually, Gradle files is used to run your project in emulator. So, uh, must to sync with your project. So, uh, here we have the simple um, fixing uh, of your problem that is run button is disabled in Android Studio. So uh, if you are a beginner in uh, Android Studio, then you just uh, do this types, uh, this steps uh, to run your project in Android Studio. And if you are a Kotlin user and uh, if you are a beginner in Kotlin, then must to uh, sync with your file, uh, with the Gradle files. So this is the steps to run your project in, uh, in Android Studio. So here we have uh, wait for some times its downloading process is continuing gradle con uh, configure projects and you can say that gradle build works gradle uh, model works and uh, in the build you can say that in the build uh, uh, window you can see that the synchronous process is completed and the finished and the finished time is uh, showing the status bar just under uh, just bottom uh, screen you can see and the synchronous process of the Gradle with your Kotlin project is completed and finished time is also displaying in the build window. Here we have started bundle uh, daemons and the Gradle daemon started in the 3 seconds 895 milliseconds like that build successfully. And you can see that your uh, uh, green uh, run button and triangle run button is show and visible you can say that. So uh, this is the simple steps to do to fix that type of problems. Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to Android. Thank you very much.